dampened by the clouds of misery. Completely lost. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Joe Centineo and I want to welcome you to Joe Knows. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about something that is very, very dear to my heart. I want to talk to you about planting God's Word in your heart. Now, my introduction to the Bible and to God's Word, it took a while. I was 22 years old before I actually ever opened the Bible. Maybe that explains why as, as a teenager, as a young boy, and as a teenager, and even a young adult, I really messed things up. I didn't really have a guide and a way to live my life. And I can remember, you know, lying and cheating and stealing. I mean, growing up in New York City, that's pretty normal. I think it's pretty normal for a lot of people. But then as I got older, getting drunk, smoking weed, um, I kind of knew those things were wrong, but I really didn't have a basis to determine that they actually were. So I was kind of wishy-washy about it. And I remember uh, getting involved sexually and, 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 and experiencing all of the negative conflicts, consequences that go along with that. And uh, I just knew that there was something in me that knew what was right. And I just didn't have a clear guidance to follow those things. I, I was kind of lost. And I became a believer at age 22, and shortly after becoming a believer, someone gave me a Bible and said, hey, you should start reading this. Well, it freaked me out. I got real nervous. It wasn't even a Bible like this one. There's a big old Bible here. This is the one that I use right now. And they gave me a Bible. It was a paperback, and it was a New Testament only, a paraphrased version. And I began to read it. And quickly after, I went and bought my own Bible, and I started to read in the Gospel of Luke. And I remember being intrigued by everything I wrote, and I started to realize that God had some instructions, some opinions on how life should be lived. And because I had never read God's Word, I had no clue as to how He wanted me to live my life. So uh, as I began reading it, I finished the Gospel of Luke, 24 chapters, and then I decided I was going to read the entirety of the New Testament. And as I read through the New Testament, I remember finishing up and, and realizing that in the New Testament, the answers to every question I had ever had in my life, I had read about them. They were right there, the answers, the way to live. And, and I had before me now a way, something to guide me in how I would live my life. And I was very excited to begin doing that. And I started reading the Bible day, every day. And you know, I know this now, I didn't know it then, but most Christians, they don't read the Bible. Now, if you're, a, if you're a Christian and you're watching and you don't read the Bible, then I'm not trying to shame you, but I just want to tell you, I will never understand that. Because here I was starved of the Bible, starved of truth. 22 years old, I come to Christ, my life is a mess. I start reading the Bible, now I know why it's a mess, because I did things my way. I'm seeing that God was trying to tell me the way He wanted me to live, and as I'm aligning my life with His Word, as I'm reading it and planting it in my heart, everything's turning around in my life. My life is changing. I'm now happy. I have joy. I have peace. I'm taking away, th I'm taking things out of my life that were dragging me down, and I'm adding things that I would never dream of doing that are adding to my life. And all because I'm reading it in God's Word, to this day, I can't understand how Christians can survive by not reading God's Word. It's kind of why I'm doing these talks. And what I want to do for you is I want to entice you to get to not just be a follower of Jesus Christ, that you believe in Him, but to learn what it means to follow Him by reading His Word and plant His Word in your heart. Now, I know the reason why most of you don't read the Bible. Besides the fact that you don't have time, a lot of you don't know where to start. And it is a big book. There's a lot of pages and it can be intimidating. So what I'm going to do in this little series that I'm doing is I'm going to take away, first of all, I want to entice you. I want to, I want, I want to whet your appetite to getting God's Word because it can transform your life when you follow it and obey it. But I also am going to make it simple for you to understand how it's been written. And in the weeks ahead, I'm going, to, I'm going to make it to where it's not intimidating. And you can get into it and start reading it yourself. So for me, I have learned, I'm a pastor now, and I have the 
privilege of teaching and preaching on a regular basis. So for me, one of the greatest ways to learn is to teach. I do lots of study and I prepare, but most of you aren't pastors and you're not teachers. So what I want to recommend to you as you're going to begin a journey of getting into God's Word is I want you to use this approach. It's called the little by little approach. The most important thing you'll do in a little by little approach is be consistent. You see, if you start reading one chapter a day in the Bible and you start today, it might take you five minutes a day to do that. That would be an average for someone, five minutes. If you do that every day for 10 years, you'll have read through this Bible a number of times. And if you and I could sit down and talk, you would find out 10 years from now that you would have a lot more of a working knowledge of the Word of God. And if you're putting it in, in active, if you're activating it in your life, you're planting it in your life, you're going to find that you're actually looking more like a follower of Christ because you're putting it in your life and you're following it. So I want to encourage you to do that. So I'm going to ask you to start something today. Okay. I want you to start reading just one chapter a day and start in the Gospel of Matthew. That's in the New Testament. First book in the New Testament. There are 260 chapters in the New Testament. Now, I'm going to get you through the entirety of the New Testament in a short period of time. We're going to start one chapter a day. You're going to start in Matthew. And I'm going to talk to you again next week, so you'll only be, you won't be very far. Matthew has 28 chapters. You won't be very far into it. And then I'm going to begin to help you understand how the Bible is written, what the books are trying to do, the Gospels, the book of Acts, and then the epistles. I'm going to explain that to you. So as you read the Bible, you're going to be able to understand what they're designed to do and allow it to enter your life. You're going to let it be planted in your life, and it's going to start bearing fruit. It's going to start growing. So are you willing to do that with me? Will you make this commitment? Give it a shot. Will you give me a month? And let's see if you start to find that maybe this Bible, um, we know it's important. We value it. But maybe you can begin to understand that you can read it and comprehend it and it can make a difference in your life. So I'm asking you for a commitment. It's not much. Five minutes a day, starting now. Gospel of Matthew, chapter one tonight and one chapter every day. I'll talk to you next week. And I think it's going to be a great journey. I know this, that you're going to be a happy Christian when you plant God's word in your heart. God bless you. I'll talk to you next week.